Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Arithmetic main continuous series we will see today. Are you perfect in individual and discrete series? Then only please come to this continuous series. Continuous series simple formula you have to remember. What is the formula for continuous series? Remember direct method x bar is say along with me x bar is equal to sigma fm by n. In discrete series sigma fx by n fx turned into fm ok. In the same way shortcut method a plus sigma fd by n that is it so, a plus sigma fd by n. Now remember these two formulas in examination they would not ask you to follow either direct method or shortcut method. You can follow any method but I would prefer to go for this one I would recommend this one ok. Now the formula will implement it in this problem both the formulas both the methods will work out right. So find the arithmetic mean what is given to us max and frequency max that is x and frequency what do we need as per the formula x bar is equal to sigma fm by n actually sigma fx by n we used to do x is this one right x which represents x will take mid value of this x mid value or mid point you can say that we can say it as m m means mid value or mid point of this x so average of this you can say 0 plus 10 10 10 divided by 2 5 average of this in the same way 10 plus 20 30 30 divided by 2 15 in the same way 20 plus 30 50 50 divided by 2 25 in the same way this is 70 70 by 2 35 and here 90 divided by 2 45 this is 110 divided by 2 55 like this you got the mid value m you got it mid point now we will write the formula first x bar is equal to sigma fm by n ok yeah, uh, first of all we need f also frequency total that is n total of this say 30 60 uh, 60 plus uh, 30 90 100 n is here 100 now what do we need f into m we will calculate f m shall we use the calculator what I use is generally uh, multiplication with m plus altogether when you press mr you will get the total also ok 5 5 is a 25 25 m plus <coughs> 15 into 10 150 150 m plus 25 into 25 I think 625 yes and 30 into 35 1050 and 20 into 45 900 and this is 550 together it comes to 3300 this is fm ok now we will apply in the formula uh, sigma fm is equal to 3300 n is equal to 100 if you apply in the formula 3300 divided by 100 it comes to x bar is 33 x bar is 33 as per the direct method now we will see as per the shortcut method first we will write the formula it will be easy for us to know what is to be calculated right a plus sigma fd by n now what we need to do deviations we have to take right deviations just like uh, individual series sorry discrete series discrete series also we have taken deviations from x 
now here we are going to take deviations from mid value ok. So, that is m minus a m is this one minus a, a means assumed value any value you can assume as I told you I will take always minimum value. Uh, Let us assume a is equal to phi minimum number phi easy to calculate right. So, m minus a m is here phi minus phi 0, 15 minus phi 10, 25 minus phi 20, 35 minus phi 30, 45 minus phi 40, 55 minus phi 50, d we got it. What else we need? f into d we need ok. So, let us calculate frequency into deviation f into d. So, this is 5 into 0, 0, 10 into 10, 100, 25 into 20, 500, 30 into 30, 900 and 20 into 40, 800, 5 into 10, 500. If we total up, uh, this is uh, 1000. 1500, 2000, 2800, 2800 is the FD total. Apply in the formula. So, first we will write here A is what I have assumed phi and uh, sigma FD, what is the sigma FD? 2800 and N is you know 100 frequency total. Apply in the formula A is here phi plus sigma fd is 2800 divided by 100, 25, 28 plus 5, 33, got the answer, you may be following any method, answer will be the same. So, clear, continuous series, if you are sure with this problem, I will give you a homework. This is your homework, problem is given to you, uh, this is x and frequency. In the same passion work out both the methods, your answer should be 30.14. If you are getting the same answer, please write it in the comment box that you got the answer. I feel very happy, practice, practice, practice. The more you practice, you will not have fear, you will become perfect. By the way, this table also you have to show. Uh, with a pencil and scale by using a pencil and scale you have to draw this table clearly. So, like this roughly I am drawing and showing you, but in the exam you have to draw it like this and formulas and everything I know your handwriting is much better than me. So, just focus what you have and present it in a proper way. Am I clear? See you in the next class with another interesting topic related to the statistics. Do not forget to share this video. So, with lots of time and energy I am preparing for everyone, for all the students free of cost. Use it, practice it and develop your career. Good luck.